Okay, in this video, we're going to have AI talking to other AI. So we're going to make like a whole little company of robots, basically. So we do our normal installs there and some imports. And first we make something called the robot factory. So this is just a function called robot, and it takes a list of tools that the robot can use. And it, it does what I did in the last video where it um, sets up a large language model for the AI and it checks if you want any tools and loads them in and then initializes an agent. So this gives us back a whole AI agent, which I'm just calling the robot right here. So if we run that, uh, we could say like, make us a robot called robot one that has the calculator tool and then we can ask it, what is five times five? And so it sees that input, says I need to calculate, I need to multiply two numbers. I'm gonna use my calculator, put in five times five, I'm gonna get 25. So I know the final answer here is 25. Now that's cool, that's what we did the last time, but this is different here. So we're gonna make something called a special robot. Now a special robot is this is just a function again that will create it. It's just a robot with some tools that we give it, but this time we give it a name and a description as well. So um, we, we wrap all that up in a new tool. So basically this is a tool that's going to have a robot that will run it and try to do the work. And it will have its own name and description about what it does so let's make the calculator again, but this time we'll give it a name called cal calculator bot and a description. I calculate math equations and return their answer. And it also has the tool of a calculator. And so we can run this and say, what's five times five. And it's very similar to the last thing, right? I need to multiply two numbers. It's pretty much exactly the same as before, but this time this tool here, this is actually a, a, a tool now, uh, is powered by an entire agent inside of it. So let's make another one called file keeper bot. And then there's description says, I read and write files. I need descriptive instructions on what file to read or write to and what contents it needs. Okay, so that's our file keeper bot. And we also pass it the terminal uh, tool so that it can read and write files to my desktop. So now if I ask the file keeper bot to, let's say, write a file that says hello to hi.txt. So it says I need to create a file, write hello to it and it echoes it into the hi.txt. It even checks it. I need to check the files were, was created so it prints out the contents and sees it, it says hello. And I can look on my desktop and see that hi.txt does contain hello there. So this is all nothing new actually um, up until this point. It's just we've wrapped up our robot into the form of being a tool. But now we get the boss, okay? We get the boss bot. So the boss is a special robot, again. Its name is Boss Robot. <laughs> its description is, I use other robots to get tasks done, okay? And so these other robots do have the name bot, in them so the ai should know that they are robots and so now we could ask the boss robot after we give it the calculator bot and the file keeper bot we can ask it to not only calculate what is five times five but also write the answer down and it should delegate those tasks to the respective agents that can get them done so let's see Okay, so it says, 
I need to use a tool to calculate the answer. So it picked out calculator bot. It gave it five times five. Here's calculator bot running right here. So it says I need to multiply two numbers five by five times five gets 25. And then it returns five times five is 25. So now this is back to the boss robot. It says, okay, I need to write the answer down. So it's going to use FileKeeper bot now. And it tells FileKeeper bot, write the number 25 to a file called answer.txt. Now this is FileKeeper bot here. Um, all of this and this here. So FileKeeper bot says, I need to use a command to write this to a file. I'm going to use the terminal. I'm going to echo 25 into the text file. I should check it. It knows it was created. Now this is the boss bot again, coming back. The boss bot has seen that it was written to a, a text file. So it says, I know the file answer. The answer to five times five is 25. And it has been written to a file called answer.txt. Okay. Now this is really cool, but of course, I mean, I could have just made a robot, a, just a boring old robot with two tools, right? I could have given made a robot with uh, tools being uh, the calculator and the terminal, right? We'll just call that R. And then I could say r.run. I could give it the same task here. And so it uses a calculator. And, oh, actually, it did not write the answer down. Let's be more specific. Write the answer down to a file called answer.txt. I need to use terminal to write the answer to a file. It just echoed 25. Huh, it did not use the the calculator. I I thought that this would work the same as, you know, having multiple agents do the task, but this is kind of skipping uh, some steps here. Let's give it a harder problem that it might think it needs the calculator for. So let's give it that prompt. Okay. So now it, it says I need to use the calculator and then use the terminal. So it puts this in the calculator, gets this number. Now it says I need to use the terminal. Echoes that into answer.txt. Okay. So yes, we can achieve this same functionality of our boss robot with uh, a simple robot that has two tools at its disposal. But I think when the problems get more difficult, you're going to need multiple agents to take care of them and kind of complete subtasks and then let the boss robot make higher level decisions. So let's try a bit of a harder problem. So we'll have a, a couple bots here. We'll have a Python bot. No, wait, is that right? No, this is the spreadsheet bot. So I have a spreadsheet bot. A spreadsheet bot, right? I'm an AI agent that works with spreadsheet files. I can create new files and read existing ones. Describe what you'd like me to do with all important details necessary and I'll get it done, okay? That's the spreadsheet bot. Verify bot. No, this is the stats bot. I didn't rename these. This is a stats bot, okay? I'm an AI agent that works with lists of numbers. Send me the numbers and what stats you'd like me to calculate and I'll do my best to answer. And this has uh, the calculators as its tool. The spreadsheet bot has a terminator as its tool. The terminator Whoops, Freudian slipped the terminal as its tool, okay. Now the boss bot here, I use other robots to get tasks done, right? And we're going to pass it in the spreadsheet bot and the stats bot. All right, so now we can tell the boss bot to write these numbers to a spreadsheet as one task. 
you know what? Let's let's make it a little harder. Let's say write these numbers to a spreadsheet and calculate their average. Okay, and let me delete the spreadsheet.csv. All right, so it says, oh, oh my God, it just opened up my, it opened up numbers. What the heck? Okay, the AI is taking over. Okay, what did it do? I need to write the numbers to a spreadsheet and calculate the average. Okay, so I need to use spreadsheet bot. Create, the input is create a spreadsheet with these numbers. Now... This is spreadsheet bot. It says I need to create a file with a given number. So it's going to use a terminal. It echoes the numbers into the file. Now it opens the file in a spreadsheet program. Open numbers.csv. That's why this that's why this popped open. Kind of unnecessary. It says final answer. This has been written to a spreadsheet. So now boss bot sees this. And then it says, I need to calculate the average of the numbers. So it goes to StatsBot, and it tells StatsBot to calculate the average of these numbers. StatsBot is here now, and it says, I need to calculate the sum and divide by the number of them. So it adds them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight of them. So it adds them up, gets 23, needs to divide 23 by eight. Oh, it uses this calculator tool. And it gets 2.875 using the calculator again. And so now it knows the final answer. And it says 2.875. Boss bot sees this. And it says it knows the answer. It's 2.875. Now let's see if a normal robot with the terminal and the calculator can achieve this same task. So this is the task. And let's make a simple robot right here with uh, terminal and calculator. And ask it to do the same thing. So it says I need to calculate the average. So it goes to the calculator and it just puts the list of numbers in. I need to add, okay, that's a, I need to add up the numbers, divide by the number of numbers. That looks good. Input to the calculator it says one, two, three, five, da, 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 divide by eight. Answer is three. What is the real answer? Actually. Only three. Divided by 2.875. I'm surprised that the calculator rounded this answer. So it says the average is 3. But it did not write them to a spreadsheet. Let's say, let's give it more short. Right? Called spread called numbers.csv for more specific. Maybe it will think it needs to use the terminal. Okay, so use the terminal. Now it says I need to calculate the average. Put some in and get the answer. So, yeah, fine, okay. One simple robot can still do the task of my organization of robots. But... I need to think of an example that's a little bit harder and that would benefit from delegating tasks and verifying the answers and stuff like that. So let me see if I can't think of something like that.